Okay, let's do this thing. What's up, everybody? And welcome to my review of Friday Night SmackDown tonight. Loaded show for a SmackDown, as a lot is going to be going on in this show. Riley, North Carolina. It's Flair Country. So, uh, what do we got going on on uh, SmackDown tonight? After the big show they had in Madison Square Garden last week, uh, we actually do kick off the show with Bianca Belair to come out and cut a promo, basically getting ready for her match tonight against Asuka for the women's title. Uh, basically saying, you know... It's difficult when you want something so bad, you got to wait for it. But for those who wait, good things come to them. And, um, you know, she talked about how she lost the Night of Champions. And now she wants her title back. And she says she's going to get Oscar that KLD and walk out as the women's champion. Charlotte came out then basically, uh, you know, hey, you're fired up right now. And I want you to walk out as champion, okay? Because I want to face you for that women's title. And I want that next time. But Bianca... Basically say, you know, hey man, the line, uh, you know, ends with me and whatnot, so yeah, I get behind. But, uh, you know, Charlotte says, you know, hey, don't don't jinx, jinx yourself and whatnot, because uh, we can't uh, have a match. And Bianca said, how about it's SummerSlam? And Charlotte says, you know, if you win, then it's on then. Um, which, you know, here's the thing, it's kind of funny about this, because obviously they had a women's title match literally like a week ago. A two and whatnot, and it ended in a DQ finish. Uh, so with even EO around and um, thinking that Oscar's just gonna lose right off the bat tonight, thinking this match is gonna ha uh, happen at SummerSlam, then you all have another thing coming, okay? Um, but next after that, the brawling brutes were uh, hyping themselves up, uh, as Sheamus and uh, Rich Holland faced pretty deadly, um, pretty deadly one basically uh, knocking um, Holland's neck into the turnbuckle after that whole Samoan spike thing. The match was okay. Uh, pretty deadly. They're not bad, but I don't know if people really still believe in them like that right now, especially going for the tag team titles after that happened last time. So they try to find ways for at least to get them wins and whatnot. But the match was, it, it, it was okay, but not much I can really speak on after, off of that. Um, right after that then... Um, where did, uh, Charlotte was leaving the building saying, like, you know what? I don't need to be here for the rest of the night. You know, Bianca's going to win. I'll get my title match at SummerSlam. But then when she was leaving, uh, Bailey and EO showed up with the Money in the Bank briefcase. And, uh, you know, basically, uh, you know, tapping on that case. And then Charlotte was like, y you know what? On second thought, I think I'll stick around tonight. Yeah, I need to see what's going on here. Uh, Zelina Vega went against um, Bailey. Not really much of a match here, but um, barely won. Hit the rose plant for the win. They didn't. Hmm. Huh. Thought I heard something right there for a second, like a drop. <laughs> I don't know. I heard a weird noise, but nah. As I was saying, though. Yeah, after Bailey won, Shotzi Blackheart showed up on the screen with hair clippers, now saying she is in control now, cutting off her hair after, you know, Bailey them cut off her hair like over a couple weeks ago in London. Um, I guess, you know, they're going to try to make Shotzi's crazy, which, listen, Shotzi's already like, you know, the horror uh, screen queen and whatnot. We know how crazy Shotzi can get, but now it looks like they may be going something different, maybe being mentally unstable now. So we'll see where that goes since she decided to cut her own hair now. So um, that looks interesting. AJ and the club were in the back. Uh, you know, getting ready for that fatal four way later on tonight. Jay Uso came out to cut a promo, which he did a good job by kind of getting past the what chance. Um, you know, talking about. Him and his brother are inseparable, especially when you were twin. And if Jimmy hurt, he's hurt too. And, you know, hurt by his own family member. And talked about, you know, Roman Reigns. Because, you know, he respected everybody in his family. But Roman Reigns gets the most disrespect. He said he's going to whip his youngest brother's ass like he's done before. Just like last week. And he's going to get Paul Heyman for being a puppeteer of his family for over 40 years now. This is 40 years, and it's going to end today. But Paul Heyman and Solo came out there then. Uh, Heyman said, this is your fault, okay? All right, this is all handed down by uh, Offen Sika. So this is all, you know, you guys' fault. You went against the tribal chief, okay? You went against the wishes of Roman Reigns. And uh, Jimmy is in the hospital because of you. And, you know, he is the Jew. He called himself the Jew, so I thought it was kind of funny. Um, but... You know, that your father, your mother, Reigns, will never forgive you for what happened. Even Solo got in the mic saying, like, you know, everything that happened to Jimmy is all on you. And I won't forgive you either. 
Next thing you know, they start brawling in with each other. Um, Heyman ended up getting out of the ring. Solo came back. Heyman came back with a chair, which he ended up getting super kicked. And I, and I know Jay protected him very well. That didn't even look like he even hit Heyman. As, you know, Heyman, I was surprised Heyman even took a bump um, here. And, um, you know, he hit him with a super kick. Heyman was down. The crowd went nuts. He saw that chair. Um, Heyman looked like he was going to try to go back for that chair. But Jay got the chair at the end. Uh, Solo got back in, and then he got hit with them ch- chair. Solo just be getting hit with chairs almost every week by one of the Usos. He just, like, this is another week in a row, like, got hit with chairs outside the ring. But Heyman and Solo end up getting about a dodge in. So, really great segment there. You know, Heyman trying to blame Jay on everything that happened to Jimmy. And, you know, he's to blame for this, you know, why the family isn't good. Um, and whatnot. And, you know, Jay just taking out Heyman was a pretty good, big thing right there. Uh, next was a fatal four way with Grayson Waller, AJ Styles, uh, Butch, Pete Dunn, and um, whatever you want to call them, and Santos Escobar. Uh, Mid Theory, Austin Theory was um, on commentary. Listen, this wasn't actually a bad fatal four way. It was pretty good. But they had Cross end up attacking the OC, the club in the back, and leave them on the ground. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, like, why should I really be taking Cross as a threat when the guy got beaten, like, what, two minutes last week on SmackDown? Basically jobbed out. So, why is this feud still continuing with him and AJ? I really don't understand. Why? Why am I still watching this feud? Who really cares? I'm like, I was actually hoping AJ was going to win, but then I remember it's like, two fatal four ways in this. So, I almost kind of forget. But, um, as Santos Escobar ended up getting the win... Good good for him, so I'm not mad at that. I actually thought AJ was winning this, but no, they keep continuing this stuff with him and Cross, which looks like it just never ends. It just keeps going without much meaning to it, and, like, literally, come on. Um, Styles did check on OC, and everybody seemed to be okay. The Street Profits were waiting on somebody in the limo. Next thing you know, Bobby Lashley showed up. We ain't seen Lashley in a good minute now since that whole world title tournament, and he was shaking up hands with the Street Profits, and they all got in the limo, and they was going to talk. So, could we see a new Hurt business? I don't know, but I'm interested to see what's going on. Especially with Lashley being back in the picture now. Uh, we have video packages from Rey Mysterio. Um, basically, he's in the U.S. title tournament for the Fatal 4-Way next week. As Cameron Grimes, Sheamus, and L.A. Knight, who actually did a promo, though. Who got a huge pop out there. Fans was just... He had the crowd in the, in the palm of his hands. Like, the crowd went nuts for L.A. Knight. They know they want to see him doing all the catchphrases and stuff. I know people are going to be going off on if he's a wanna, wannabe rip-off rock, which, hearing more and more about that nowadays. Um, not even just from Kevin Nash, but um, still, uh, it's we've been hearing that for a minute. But, um, yeah, L.A. Knight just super over with the crowd, so definitely big from there. Uh, but in the main event, we got Asuka and Bianca. For the um, women's title. Next thing you know, Charlotte comes up with a ticket. Um, Bailey and EO come out there with tickets, which we already saw all these people early in the night. So, you know, they got to have tickets, paper tickets also. We don't get a lot of those nowadays. Uh, you know, the. Um, you, know, you don't get a lot of those nowadays, but you know, they get the paper tickets to stand by ringside. And the match was pretty decent and whatnot, but of course, the shenanigans were going to happen. Um, you know, everybody's getting involved. Uh, Charlotte ended up spearing um, Bianca for the disqualification. Uh, everybody's down hitting moves on each other. EO's trying to cash in, uh, get Asuka, but she ended up um, getting uh, Asuka ended up missing, um, you know, ended up missing um, Bailey, which Asuka ended up escaping in after that. So uh, Asuka lived in again another day to see with the title. Not really surprised here. I expect some crazy match to happen at some point, but. I figured this whole thing was going to be some scurry DQ finish as it was every, anyway. So, um, like I said, match was decent one for what it was. But, um, like I said, you knew it was going to be some shenanigans. And I mean a lot of shenanigans, okay? Next week, they'll be on FS1, so not Fox. So, um, SmackDown will be on a different channel next week. But, overall, pretty good episode of SmackDown. And it will be really loaded, it looks like, next week also. With Roman being back and continuing this whole fatal four-way U.S. title uh, thing going on. But, uh, yeah, pretty, um, really good stuff from SmackDown tonight. Really good stuff from SmackDown. Just like last week. I've called two weeks in a row, in my opinion. But, um, yeah. Other than that, though, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Hood9890. I'll see y'all then. Peace. Uh, hit that like 
button and a notification bell. So, uh, yeah. See y'all then. Out.